Hey everyone, lots of Theresa May news this week. I don't think there's been this much activity in Westminster since that time that Cyril Smith discovered it was possible to clear his internet search history. Over the past seven days, MPs have had a bit of time to read the details of the Brexit paper that Theresa May put out last weekend and it was about as popular as a rattlesnake in a lucky dip. David Davis resigned, as did Boris Johnson, along with a number of lesser-known ministers, and it's currently a case of seeing whether enough Conservative backbenchers or frontbenchers will get round to writing letters to the 1922 committee in order to trigger a no-confidence vote in the Prime Minister. Curiously, the number needed is 48, and 48 BC was when Pompey was assassinated. I'm rather surprised that Boris didn't make a reference to that really classicist that he is. Nonetheless, Theresa's hoping that it's now too late for anything other than her plan to proceed as usual. I wonder if her and her husband act like that at home. You know, I can imagine them sitting down to see Star Wars, but then Mamma Mia starts to play, and she points out that they've already paid for the tickets, so they may as well just stay and watch the remainder of it, regardless of what his views are on the subject. Then, just when things were starting to settle down a bit, President Trump made his visit to the UK, and a whole bunch of people decided to protest, although it was a weekday, and if none of them had jobs to go to, then I suppose it was something to keep them occupied at least. I just checked, and Weatherspoon's share price ended up 8 pence down at the end of trading today. Tells you a lot, really. There were discussions about the trade war with China, there was talk about the US pulling troops out of NATO countries, and there was also talk about Stormy Daniels being dragged out of a bar in Ohio after the President's former companion was arrested. In the end, though, very little has changed since this time last week. It's a bit like a sitcom where things happen and then everything resets for next week's episode. Except Boris is no longer in a job now, so I suppose it's more like President Trump's old episodes of The Apprentice. Hashtag you're fired. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these clips, subscribe. Bye.